Hello everyone! So today we're going to be learning how to make an overlay in Canva that we can edit and use in our videos. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make sure that our page is color green because we're going to make kind of like a green screen effect or overlay. By the way, before we do that, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to try to work on for an example for today's video. So this is going to be the video that we're going to edit and we're going to add an overlay to it. Let's try to play it. So basically, it's just a video of a woman texting. We're going to add kind of like a text bubble that'll appear right over here or here. And we're going to try to make that in Canva. So let's go back to Canva and let's start editing or creating our overlay. So first, we're going to make our page or turn our page into green. So let's click on it. Go to the color selection bar. Um, scroll down to find the color green and there you go. Um, this is way too dark, but it's okay. But if you want to adjust it, go back to the top, click on this icon right here, and adjust it to your liking. Okay, this is the kind of green that I like, so let's work with this one. Okay, now it's time to add the elements. We're going to go to the elements section and type in whatever element it is we're looking for. So say, for example, text bubble. Let's click on graphics. And from here, we can choose many different types of graphics to use. We can use this one. Or I think I want to change it. Maybe this one would do. Okay, let's go ahead and use this one. Um, we can change the color of this element too by making sure that it's selected and by going to the color button again and from here, change it to whatever color you like. I think this one's okay. Let's try to flip the image by clicking the flip button on the toolbar above and you can either flip it horizontally or vertically. In this case, we're going to flip it horizontally. So there we have it. Let's make sure it's aligned. Now it's time to add a text box. So let's press T on our keyboard to add a text. Text box, I mean. And edit the text box however you want. I think it's all in capital letters. Perhaps clicking this one would do. And there we have it. We can also change its alignment. Instead of aligning it to the center, we can align it to the left. Okay, now we're going to input whatever text we want. We can also resize it by dragging the corners. We can also adjust how far apart we'd like the letters to be. And we're going to add an emoji to make it look nice. This one's cute. Let's use this one. There we go. And in order to make it look even more interesting, we're going to add some animated effects to it. Let's start with the text bubble first. Let's click on it to select it. And then click on animate to choose an animation that we like. There are plenty of animations for you to try, so see which one suits you well. For me, I think I'm going to go with pop. I think it's nice. We can actually adjust it 
Um, we can make it pop upon entrance and upon exit, or only upon entrance or only upon exit. Depends on you. Let's click on entrance first. Let's also add an animated effect to our text. Oh, animate. Okay. What about typewriter? And let's adjust its speed to make it faster. There. And we're also going to add an animated effect to our emoji right here. So let's click on it. Oh, I think it's behind the text. So let's first send the text behind the emoji. We can do that by going to position and backward. Okay, let's try it. Okay, we can click on the emoji now. So let's add an animated effect to it. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and try to play it. It's nice, but I think there's one tiny problem. I think the emoji appears too soon, so let's play that again, see? I think it would be better if we made it appear last. So we're gonna try to do something about it. Let's duplicate the page. We're going to make sure that the text bubble is animated upon entrance only that's good we're going to make sure that the the uh, text is animated upon entrance only as well and we're going to remove the emoji on the first page we're going to go to the second page we're going to remove the um we're going to change the animation of the text bubble into upon exit only. Likewise for the text. And we're going to set the um, animated effect for the emoji to both. So let's try to see if we were able to fix that problem. Let's, oh, by the way, we're going to change uh, the duration for page number one so instead of five seconds uh, we're get by the way we can do that by making sure the page is selected and then we're going to go here to change it to two seconds and for the second page five seconds would be enough okay let's try to play it okay i think that's good so we're going to download the overlay that we just created Let's go to the share button above, click on download. For the file type, make sure that MP4 is selected. And then here you can adjust the quality of your um, overlay. Unfortunately, this is only available for those with a Canva subscription, but no worries. You can always avail for Canva's free trial period. And then for the pages, select the um, specific pages you'd like to download. Then, once everything's all set, you can go ahead and click on download and just wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, so we're going to save it to our desired location. You can rename your file. So sample overlay for example and then click on save all right we're gonna go to our video editing software and i'm gonna show you how we can remove the uh, green screen from the overlay that we just created so we're gonna make sure that we have two tracks um track number one and track number two by the way this is where you add a track and then track operations and add video track or control plus I on your keyboard. Let's open the file we downloaded earlier by pressing control plus O and by finding the uh, video we downloaded earlier. So here it is. 
we're going to add it to our playlist. Make sure playlist is selected and click the plus button to add it there. Now we're going to start editing. We're going to place um, the uh, video underneath. So the video is going to go to track number one. And for track number two, we're going to place the overlay there. We're going to make the overlay appear like a bit later. So yeah, this would be okay. So we're going to select the overlay layer. We're going to go to filters and click on this plus icon. And from here, we're going to type in chroma key. There are many different choices, but chroma key simple would do for now. Let's click it. And here it is. You can actually adjust the intensity of your overlay by just simply adjusting it from the uh, from this slider right here. Adjust it until you're happy with it. Let's try to play it. Okay, and then we're gonna, of course, position it properly. So to do that, we're gonna add another filter. Click on the plus button here, and then type in position. Click on this one. So we're gonna adjust it accordingly. And drag it to place it wherever we like it to be. Okay, now let's go ahead and try it out. It's going to look laggy here, but yeah, I think it's because I have like very limited space on my PC. So we're going to go ahead and export our video. Click on export, export file, select your desired destination, then name it however you like video overlay sample and once again we're gonna wait for it to finish exporting and here's our sample video let's try to look at how it turned out All right, I think it's great and I'm really happy how it turned out. So basically, that's all. That's how you create an overlay video in Canva. We hope you found today's video of help and we thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you once again in our next video. Have a great day!